Okay, so this is a follow-up to the last video where I said I think I need spin control. So basically, I'm going to go through three new launches I did um, and basically talk about how I added spin control, which I decided to put in the nose cone. Okay, so here's a nose cone. So I put the motor completely at the top with just a simple little you know, conical shape. Um, and then there's a little spin mass, which is protected by another little piece. And then that's the parachute holder. And the whole thing just connects to the bottom motor mount. And that's it. Yeah, so I just 3D printed this. Uh, pretty simple. So you see the parachute is in there. Uh, the control wiring. Uh, the motor's up here. Inside is basically this. This one that crashed. Um, and the idea is, is the rocket starts spinning. You just spin up the mass uh, the other way, and conservation of angular momentum, uh, it'll stop spinning. Um, so, came up with a pretty simple algorithm uh, to show it right here. It basically says, you know, if I start spinning faster than 10 degrees a second, then spin the motor as far as fast as you can in one direction. Uh, if it's going negative 10 degrees per second, uh, spin it the other way as fast as you can, otherwise just let it sit there. And then I tested that algorithm, and uh, it actually worked really well. I mean, you can see here I just started spinning the rocket, and the motor, which is blue, would turn on or off. And you can see I compensate for the uh, roll pretty quickly. So I couldn't compensate for more than about 200 degrees a second. Um, but overall, you know, pretty simple algorithm that ended up working really well. Okay, so let's look at the data. Um, so first on the spin control, so the motor, you know, the rocket and the black line started to, you know, really start to spin quick. And, you know, it takes a second for the motor to, you know, really ramp up, but it turned on immediately and kind of halted the growth. Uh, but it was already at full speed, so it couldn't compensate for more, but it did at least drop the spin to, you know, 200 degrees a second. So what that means I need more mass or more motor uh spin rate to control further uh you know spin on that um on the roll and pitch side um so still the gimbal is correcting for you know the deviations but i'm still at plus or minus 10 degrees which means the spin control by itself didn't help a ton which means i have other issues going on previous launch i had the max angle for uh, pitch and roll at plus or minus 5.5 .5 degrees, which I decided is probably too much, and particularly since, um, you know, these servos aren't infinitely fast, there's actually a delay, so I don't want them to go too far. So I lowered the angle that it'll travel from 5.5 .5 to 3.2, so I only allow plus or minus 3.2 in either direction. And then on the constant side, I lowered, uh, you know, the proportional constant uh, down to 0 0.4. I think it was about 0 0.8 last time. And the derivative constant is 0 0.15 and the integral constant to zero. So updated those and kept the spin roll control in there and did uh, the next one. I've, I forgot to turn the program on there. So um, the good thing is, you know, you prove that the control algorithm is actually doing something. So now I know without a doubt that this optimization is working. Um, so the rocket smashed into the ground. Um, nose cone kind of broke. Actually, this conical part here, you know, it, it didn't even smash. It just kind of separated from, from this. And this is where the uh, broken spin mass came from. Uh, electronics held up totally fine. Um, Raspberry Pi SD card is soldered in there. So it's got no issue, which is really cool. And the gimbal uh, broke, so I had to reprint all that. But 
Once I did that, then I was ready to go again. Okay, so that launch went much better. Now let's look at the data. Uh, spin and uh, was actually very tight. So this time I increased the mass a little bit to 17 grams and it was a little more balanced. So I think I got a little more control. Uh, you can see the spin starts increasing rapidly off the launch. The motor kicks on. Uh, it actually achieves its goal of getting it within 10 degrees. The motor turns off, starts to spin again, turns on, turns off, turns on. Uh, so a really effective uh, algorithm there. So I was really happy about that. And then looking at pitch and roll. Uh, so pitch first on the left, um, black being the actual measured deviation. It's very tight. So before I was plus or minus 10 degrees. Now I'm like plus or minus two or three. So really awesome. Uh, huge improvement there. On the roll side, um, I'm not sure if I had the target angle set at two degrees or two and a half because it's kind of centered there, uh, but about plus or minus three as well over there. And you can see blue is the set point for the gimbals. Um, so you can see, you know, they don't deviate by 3.2 uh, or less. But overall, I was really happy uh, with how this launch turned out. Uh, no complaints and huge improvement.